Coming up, Britain calls on the UN to back military action in Syria. How thousands of lives could be saved by checks on hospital patients' kidneys. And Catherine Zitch Jones and Michael Douglas say they're separating. See you at five. William Hague has called Syria's use of chemical weapons a crime against humanity. The UN Secretary General wants more time to find a diplomatic solution. Welcome to Five News. I'm Emma Crosby. The British government has taken its case for military action against Syria to the United Nations. The Prime Minister has drafted a resolution which condemns the Assad regime for a chemical attack which killed hundreds of people in Damascus last week. The Foreign Secretary, William Hague, says it's time for the UN to act. But as weapons inspectors inside Syria continue to investigate the massacre, the UN Secretary General has urged the international community to wait and not abandon hopes of a peaceful solution. On News Talk Live tonight at 6.30, we'll be discussing the prospect of military intervention against Syria. Let us know what you think on the subject. Do tweet us at the usual address, 5 underscore news. Now, thousands of people could be dying needlessly every year because hospitals are failing to spot a deadly but preventable kidney condition. According to the healthcare body NICE, around one in six hospital patients in England develops acute kidney injury, but it's often left undiagnosed because doctors and nurses don't do basic checks. A 12-year-old boy who's been found dead in the River Cam near Cambridge has been named. Now, events are taking place around the world to mark one of the most famous and important speeches of our time. Fifty years ago today, Martin Luther King stood in front of 250,000 people in Washington, D.C. and told them, I have a dream. His message for racial equality reverberated right across the globe. And tonight, America's first black president, Barack Obama, will deliver a speech from the same spot. But as Polly Whitehouse reports, those who are continuing Dr. King's fight says there's still a way to go. All that and plenty more after this short break. See you in a while. Bank of England has assured businesses he won't raise interest rates and urge banks to start lending to them again. In his first public speech since taking on the role, Mark Carney defended his unprecedented decision to announce his rate plans in advance. As Rebecca Barry reports, businesses have welcomed what he had to say. Now, this time last year, the country was about to be amazed and inspired by the feats of the world's Paralympians. But one of Britain's gold medalists has warned that attitudes still need to change. Sophie Christiansen says even now there's a lack of understanding about the needs of people with disabilities. She's told Simon Weigard the glamour of the Games hides the stark reality of everyday life. Catherine Zeta-Jones and Michael Douglas say they are taking time apart amid reports that their marriage is in trouble. The couple tied the knot 13 years ago and they have two children together. The England cricket team have apologised for what they've described as inappropriate behaviour during their Ashes celebrations. Here's a question for you. Have you ever taken a selfie of your food baby or maybe indulged in a spot of twerking? Well, if you've got no idea what I'm talking about, then don't worry because help is at hand. Because they're among ten new words which have made it into the online Oxford English Dictionary. Its publishers say some of them have been around for decades. Well, that's it for now. Don't forget the News Talk Live starts in an hour's time. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. See you back at 6.30. Bye-bye.